today I wanted to talk about my Apple Watch. So I've had my watch for about two months now, so I feel like I've really understood how it works, if it's worth it, what I find benefit in and what I wish was changed. So I thought I could share it all with you guys. Basics, I have the Apple Watch Series SE in the 40 millimeter. I got the 40 rather than the 44, so I got the smaller size because I think it already takes up a pretty large majority of my wrist. And I think the bigger one just wouldn't have looked quite right. I think it's the perfect size. I can do everything I need to and I can see everything on here, which is great. So when I originally bought it, I bought it with the forest green like silicone bands. I really like the color and I wear this band whenever I'm exercising. And then I got this leather band off eBay or Amazon. I'll have the link down below if you're looking for a different Apple Watch band. I really like it. I think having something that's not the typical Apple one really elevates the watch. And I went with brown because if you can't tell, I like the color brown. So it makes it look more of a fashion statement rather than just a piece of technology. Another thing I got straight away, which is definitely not essential, but this is just me. I have a silicone case around my Apple Watch. So this was just for added protection. Obviously they are decently expensive and I wanted to make sure I was protected because I wasn't used to wearing a watch of that caliber yet. I got the watch with mobile. So I'll go into why I got that, but for the watch with mobile and the normal band in Australia, I paid $499 UK and American prices down here. If there's anyone watching from those countries, just so you have an idea of how much you'd be spending on it. So my journey with smartwatches, I had a Fitbit for two and a half years and I really enjoyed it. It worked well. I liked that it wasn't too phony, like there wasn't too much going on my wrist because I thought that would make me really anxious. So I mostly used the Fitbit for sleep tracking, fitness tracking, and then I could get notifications on the watch, but then I would have to respond on my phone, which worked well for a little while. But as I progressed through my career and progressed in my job, I just found that sometimes I needed to be able to answer things on my watch because I don't want to have to take my phone around all the time, thinking that some features could be improved, which is why I decided to invest in my Apple Watch. I got the Apple Watch with mobile. So if you didn't know, in my day-to-day -day normal life, I work as an event manager. Because of those roles, I'm not always sat in front of my laptop with my phone nearby. Sometimes I'm running around, like responding to issues, managing people and things. I was really drawn to the Apple Watch because I could have those notifications come through straight to my wrist, but I could also action those notifications. So if I was in the middle of doing something and I needed someone to grab something I could call them from my watch or I could message them from my watch, which made it super easy and we were able to be really tactile and I felt more productive in those times. I wasn't worried about ha always having to bring my phone with me. I could just run up and be responsive to an issue if it came up. So that was definitely one of my favorite features about the watch. I also personally love the fitness tracker. I think it's so helpful and the little reminders, they can be sassy sometimes. In my general everyday life, I really enjoy having them like on my wrist. My other favorite thing is just having as much information as I can on my wrist. I can flick it up and see it's gonna rain in the next few hours. So if I'm gonna ride to work, I know maybe not to, or if I'm doing washing, I can see if I need to bring it inside. Just having those details on my wrist is so helpful. I've found that it makes me more productive. I haven't got a million questions in my mind wondering what's happening because my watch has it all for me. I have a few apps on here that I really enjoy and really utilize a lot. So I wanted to share them all with you. The first really helpful app I found, I personally bank with Upbank, which is a digital bank. So they don't have any in-person things, but I love their iPhone app. I think it's so helpful and it's really helped me become more knowledgeable about my finances. And I like on my watch that I can also go into the app. It'll tell me the balance on my card. It'll show me any activity that I want. Um, and it can also show me my separate savers, which I find really helpful. And I also get notifications every time money is taken out of the account or it's spent, which can be helpful just in case there's a activity that's not mine, I know straight away and I can report that. The second app that I really like is called Habit. I've been trying to find a habit builder to-do list app for a while. And this one I really like because 
it's gamified again. I really like the simplicity of it. So I've set it up on my phone to send me a few reminders each day about certain things I want to do. These seem like silly reminders. I'm only just getting started. One of my goals this year is to really grow my YouTube and my Instagram and making sure I'm attempting to build a life that I love for the future. My reminders are to make an Instagram post, to um, upload Instagram stories. So I get a notification on my phone, but I also get a little notification on my watch. And then I can just click into it and say that I've done it and it'll show in my app. I have an app called Money Coach, which I really, really like. I love being able to track my spending because I have my personal account and my um, shared credit card with my fiance. But it is interesting to me to always track the money that's coming in and the money that's going out. I have this little icon on the bottom left of my watch face and I can just add in any money spent or any money coming in for the month of my pay period, which I find really helpful and it'll help me to categorize everything. So you can see on here, I uh, say I spend $20 on lunch today. I'll put it in under food, in as lunch, out of my checkings account, and then confirm. Some of my other favorite apps that I can have on here are Round which is a reminder to take my medications, which is really helpful. I also have a little motivation. That's so just a series of inspiring quotes, which I really like. I tend to turn to this when I'm feeling a bit anxious so I can have something to really uplift me and get me inspired to keep going with my day. A few more favorites are having my podcasts on here so I can quickly listen to them as soon as my AirPods are plugged in, um, as well as Spotify having my playlist on there as well as music so I can listen to it when I go out for a run. So now I don't have to take my phone if I go for a walk or go for a run. I have everything on my watch. I can also control my lights. I have one, it's called Lifex. It's like the Philip Hue lights, but I have one in my lamp downstairs so I can turn it on if I'm ever coming home at night and there's no lights on because I hate coming home to a dark house. My favorite of the inbuilt Apple features is the alarms. I hate waking up to an annoying, loud, buzzing noise from like a phone alarm or a clock alarm. So having the Apple Watch which just gently vibrates on your wrist is super calming and it's a really nice way to wake up. The other feature I love is the ping, pinging your phone feature. So I can, from my watch, make my phone make a noise so I can find it because I'm always losing my, my phone. So having that on my watch is so helpful. I can't even tell you. And my other favorite feature is the remote camera starter. So on my watch, I can phone up to take a photo which is really helpful if you're taking your own Instagram photos and you can just click shoot and it'll take a photo on your phone for you which is so helpful three watch faces and I don't differentiate too much but um, these are just the ones I find really really helpful. So my first watch face is really simple but on this watch face I just have the date and the time as well as the moon phase. Then I have the temperature of the day. I also then have the weather for the next five hours and then at the bottom I have a link to my rings for the day. In the middle I have my habit tracker and in the bottom right I have my money tracker and then on the next window, it's just a really simple clock phase. It's just the time. This is what I normally wear for during the day. And then my last one is a really simple one again. And then it's got the rings in the background so I can see my progress. I also have the workouts, which I use quite often to log when I'm going for a walk or if I'm at the gym. For me, the number one advantage, like I said earlier, is because I'm always on my feet and moving, having access to all of my notifications on my phone and being able to contact people or even look up like emails and stuff on my phone is super helpful because I can go respond to something and have all the information that I need right here. I don't have to worry about needing my phone. I find that it also helps me stay productive because, and I'm sure everyone falls into this trap, but as soon as they check a notification on their phone, they then close it and go to Instagram or TikTok and it's never a one minute thing. It leads to more, especially if you're working from home or studying, I've always found that to be a really big struggle. I really like being able to see what's happening in my world without the distraction. So I feel like I can get straight back into work. The other benefit for me is the activity tracker. It really does motivate me to make sure I'm moving my body in a healthy way. Being able to track my exercise and my heartbeat. Not that I look at it too much, but it's good data for me to have in the future. Two biggest disadvantages advantages. One of them is just one to wrap your head around, but it is just the price. It is an expensive watch. I think if you look at it at the sense of it's an accessory watch, it is expensive. But if you look at it from the sense of its technology, it's like a mini phone. I think looking at it like that, it's not too expensive. It is something that I saved up for as well. And the other disadvantage for me personally is just the battery life. I really, really hope that 
at some point in the future they can increase for more than one day. I typically charge mine in bed before I'm about to go to sleep when I'm like reading or playing around on my phone. I'll charge it then, but hopefully one day we'll see Apple Watches that have like two to three day battery life. Overall, I would definitely recommend it if you're someone who's on the move a lot or you have workout goals or things that you're looking to achieve. I definitely feel like it's helped me stay motivated and I feel more productive now that I have it. So for that reason alone, I would recommend everyone getting an Apple Watch. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I, like I said, I make new videos twice a week. Always fun, always different, and I'm just learning how to live my life as an adult in the 21st century, so I hope you enjoy them. And if you're in the same boat, I'm sure you will. Other than that, I hope you have an amazing day. Make sure to look after yourself and love yourself, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.